currently I'm making the cargo pockets and I just want to show you guys how I'm making it. So here is the cargo pocket. So I started already, but here's the blueprint. Basically, this is how it's going to look like. Um, I cut out all the pieces already, but I realized I probably should have added a little bit extra space um, right here so that I can make it so that the pocket will protrude a little bit more because right now it's just going to be kind of flat. Um, you can't really put too much into it, but I already cut it out. I don't want to waste any more fabric, so we're going to work with this. So it might be a little bit flat. Maybe I can like sew it a little bit more inward like, like this. So I'll have a little bit more of like a looser fit you know but here's a little close-up of the blueprint marked every line marked every panel for the most part snap button's gonna be right there got the uh measurements for each thing too so yeah that's just how i made that now these are the flaps right here i kind of forgot to take into account that you know you can open the flap and see the inside so i should have cut out a piece where if i were to fold it it would be basically like a double layer. I gotta fold it into itself, kind of like the straps. So like on the straps here, you can see that one side is clean. You flip it over, it's clean there as well. It's not showing the underside because you know I doubled it up, folded it onto itself, sewed it in, and it looks clean like that. I should have done that for this, but I didn't really take it to account or I just, I just forgot. I forgot basically that, you know, it's gonna be seen. So to rectify the situation, <laughs> um, I just added in some hand stitching designs i guess you can say that just goes along the folded fabric so i mean it doesn't look too bad i mean you can see <laughs> the freaking labels the markings and stuff like that which is kind of uh i mean it could be cool because you know, it makes it look even more diy wide you know but it is what it is after i finish this part and sew in the cargo pocket the next hardest thing is just going to be adding in the zipper to make them into shorts but aside from that everything else should be simple adding on four more straps in total cleaning up the pad leg openings because it's a uh, it's pretty ugly right now making it even and whatnot and then i'm pretty much done it's a pretty easy diy honestly it's just a lot of pieces that's really it um and honestly i'm really excited to move on to the next project because i'm kind of tired of this <laughs> coming together so you can see this is how they look like cool and this is how this one looks like obviously this is straight i didn't make a curve is what it is got to add the eyelets here one two three one two three sew this in and then i can just sew the pocket in onto the pants and then done with that cool yo finally after hammering away adding in all these rivets adding in all of these freaking what they call it, bun snaps finally have the top part of these pants finished let's go i'll show you guys real quick here are the pants. The top part. You see this line right there? It's where the zipper's gonna be, where it's gonna turn into shorts. Um, but here's the cargo pocket that I've added. Uh, here's a butt pocket, the front pocket, double front pocket. Strap goes all the way to the back right here. All this. But yeah, cargo pocket is done. Put some stuff in there. Yeah. That's probably like the only unfortunate part of this, but you know, it is what it is. And then right here, we have the button snap. Boom. As you can see, everything here was hand sewn. Um, I did not, you know, take apart the seams to use a sewing machine. Instead, I just, you know, elected to just hand sew everything. It took a long time, but you know, it is what it is. I think it looks cool. I was looking through the picture trying to see like what else I have to do and like it just feels so good because I'm almost done. Like I probably have like two more zippers to add, two more straps to add, and then or more like panel straps or something like that. And then the way to make them unzip to make them into shorts. So there's just not much left to do, which I'm really excited for because I finally want to move on with this thing and do other projects that I have in mind. I mean, I do know that it is kind of my fault that it's taking so long, mainly because I've been like hand sewing everything, but you know, I just want to do what I want to do, what I like, and I don't want to make something that I don't want to make in a way that I don't want to make it. You know, I don't know. I do know because that's what I did. <laughs> so I'm currently working on the zipper portion of this DIY where basically I have to add two zippers on the back side and two zippers on the front side, and then add in a zipper to wrap around the leg to make them into shorts. I should have done a little bit more research when I was buying all the stuff that I need for this DIY, but I bought this zipper tape here. And unfortunately for this DIY, you need a separating zipper. Now there are ways to make this into a separating zipper, you know, just add in the box and pin. So I ended up buying the separating zipper here. 
um, this is gonna be used to make them into shorts. I went on Amazon and I was trying to find some separating zippers that I could find that are at the length that I want. Unfortunately, the only ones that I can find that are pretty good quality for a decent price, they only come in black and I don't think that it'll look that good on these pants. I feel like the black will kind of stick out too much. And then the zippers I found, they only come in black. Everything else sold out. So I don't know if I want to add in these zippers because I feel like it might be an eyesore. And honestly, I don't personally think I need to add the zippers onto these pants. I think they look good enough already. But I'll definitely add in the zippers here to make them into shorts. So lesson learned, do your research before you hit the buy button. Before this project, I didn't even know there were different kinds of zippers, like separating zippers and zippers that, that don't separate. I mean, I kind of did know about them, but I didn't know about them, you know what I mean? I thought zippers were just zippers. So like my original plan was to use this extra zipper that I got from Spare Denim, like the zipper fly, and then just use that. But apparently these aren't separating zippers, see? You can't separate them, they're stuck right there. And I looked online, it's not possible to convert uh, the zippers with stops into separating zippers. Now I can with the zipper tape that I bought, but then I have to buy the box and pins. I think I said this already. So we got the pants here, the black zipper, put it on, it sticks out. It just takes away from the overall look of the pants, so I'm not gonna be adding zippers there. Now the zippers I'm gonna be adding to this area right here to make them into shorts, it's gonna be hidden, so the color doesn't matter. I did it. That was so nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. Chopped up the legs. Now you may be wondering, why is it nerve wracking? All you gotta do is chop it up. That's because I spent so many hours working on these pants and if I mess it up, it's gonna be difficult to repair it. It's not gonna look as clean if I did mess up on this part. And of course, I don't wanna start again. My fingers kinda like, no, I'm, I'm over exaggerating of course, but you know, I was kinda shaking a little bit cause I was like, don't mess up, don't mess up. I did it. This here is the cutouts, the leg cutouts. Um, I was able to fix up the bottom hem because there was some excess fabric that was sticking out. So I chopped it up and then I'm gonna fold this, make it to a hem because I want this to be clean. I don't want this to be raw. So once all of this is done, it shouldn't be too baggy, but of course it's not gonna be really short. And it's gonna look a lot more clean, especially in the bottom hem right here. It kind of took a little bit longer than it should have, but it is my first time ever doing it. But I put in the invisible zipper, hidden zipper. I'm gonna show you guys because uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it actually. It turned out pretty good. Yo, look at it. Can you spot it? Yeah, obviously. There it is, hidden underneath this flap. Um, a lot of trial and error, especially the first one I did. Um, as you can see, it's a little, uh, a little crooked. That's because the foot, this foot is too wide. I don't have the, I don't have the Craig foot, the narrow one. So I had to sew it with the pants on this side of the sewing machine instead of on this side. So it was kind of a struggle, but. I still was able to do it, and then you can see here, my sewing machine sucks. <laughs> but it did the job, so can't really complain. Then here's the other side. That's where I started, that's where I finished, I think. Um, yeah, it's all covered, all hidden. The seams are almost lined up. That's lined up. And then right here, this is actually from the plastic, from the zipper. Uh, when I was ironing down this, uh, I guess it's a hem or something. This crease basically. The iron was straight up touching the plastic zipper and it was melting it. I didn't notice it until like a couple of seconds later. There was like a bunch of like plastic residue that was right there. I managed to scrape it off though, but that was just kind of hilarious, I guess. It's not really hilarious, but it is what it is. So you can unzip it. Ooh, I'm just gonna give you guys a little close up of it. Pretty clean. Here's the back side if you're wondering. And then this is how the ends are. We're in the last stretch of this DIY. The only things we have to do is make the four straps, the two ones on the sides and then two really long ones. And then we're gonna fold the hem, make it clean. And that's how we're gonna finish this off. Feels like a huge weight just like lift it off my shoulder because I can see the finish line. All that's left is to make things that I've already made already for these pants. So it should be a breeze, knock on wood. So this O-ring right here attached to this strap is supposed to be, you know, inserted into this loop right here. But it's really hard to pry open manually so i got some pliers here and let's just hope that this works and hopefully it doesn't break now the good thing about it though is the fact that it is hard to remove manually it's pretty sturdy um, my only issue is if i do pry it open will i be able to put it back 
Only one way to find out. Oh, behind the scenes, you know. It is kind of destroying it, which is kind of sad. But, what can you do? Come on! Please! <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> and now I just have to put this back. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Perfectly back in place, inserted into this thing. Only issue is, yeah, it's it's really scuffed now. <laughs> but uh, I could just hide it in the strap. There you go, clean. Now I gotta do it again for the second strap. Nice. Just a little more. There you go. Hide that. Now the last thing to do, other than sewing up the hem at the bottom of the pants, is to take the other end of the strap attach it at a bun snap here and we're going to attach it to the d-ring at the side of the pants and there you go pretty much finished finally that took a long time that was a lot of work too but uh yeah again the last thing i have to do is just fold and then sew in the hem at the bottom of both pant legs. And then it's completely done. But all the hard stuff, all the complicated stuff is finished. And it's been a while. <laughs> uh, now we can just try it on and see if it fits. Um, yeah. 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 Let's make the hems. <laughs> 